Good morning, new 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video, guys. We're here with a pump or dump or sideways movement for three months. That deserves a like and about four or five comments down below. I got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started, guys. Please leave about four or five comments down below. The more engagement, the more YouTube will push out the videos. I really appreciate it, guys. So please go ahead and leave a comment. Um, taking a look at the price, nothing too much to talk about, guys, but we got to talk about this ENFT solution. So let's get right into it, guys. So over 20K transactions. Oh, sorry. Over 20K NFT transactions and over 50K transactions on the VeChain blockchain for the San Marino Do digital COVID certificates. So we've been talking about these digital COVID certificates all week. If you've been living under a rock or you're new to this channel, firstly, welcome. You can buy VeChain in the link below. Down below, guys, it is uh, Crypto.com. They are sponsoring. They are a wonderful sponsor. We really appreciate them. But VeChain and DMV have been working with San Marino, the Republic of San Marino, to create a digital COVID pass vaccine passport that uses non-fungible tokens, NFTs, to track and trace vaccination data on the VeChain Thor blockchain. And it just got released a couple a couple days ago and we're already burning veto guys this is pretty big it's not a whole lot of veto but it is still some veto burn and we expect the veto burn to only increase as people want to travel as people need to come in and enter they still need to get vaccinations to leave and not only this guys that this should be a catalyst for bigger and bigger countries to adopt this okay so let's take a look here the digital COVID pet certificate presents a perfect case in the sector, which is also a new solution to help the government gain ground in the fight against 19. Based on proof of authority consensus, VeChain Thor public blockchain provides a well-balanced infrastructure for the government, public, public and private sectors to work together to create a single standardized verification framework. And then we have Sarah, the, eco the VeChain ecosystem advisor. Uh, 20k enterprise nft transactions and previously over 50k for the san marino digital COVID certificates which are now issued as nfts again guys enterprise nfts are going to be something that we this is just the beginning of nfts guys there are going to be some things that they're going to be doing with nfts that we haven't even thought about yet that's why i'm so excited and that's why i keep saying guys i think it's a little bit unfair <laughs> to the future generations that aren't on the ground floor and i feel bad for people who don't really care and are not paying attention okay because they're gonna wake up one day they're gonna try to fomo in the nfts and it's gonna be too late all the money's gonna be made well not really too late i don't like to use the word too late but you guys get what i'm saying instead of getting on the ground floor oh nft marketplace is coming soon guys if you're an artist dm me on twitter i want to host your art um if it's good art but that's neither here nor there so way to go guys real world transaction that's v chain and their ecosystem partners wow and as we can see here guys well it was blowing up when i posted it <laughs> come on cvj you're making me look like a liar here ah there we go there we go there we go so we see the san marino COVID data here being uh, burn onto the blockchain and we can see a little bit of veto burn now it's not too much veto burn but as we can see here you know they are using veto they are using the gas and we have to extrapolate this this is just a small country using this IT passport imagine when they get more people on we should start seeing explosive burn each and every day okay so this is pretty big, guys. And this website here, I know somebody's going to ask me, hey, how did you get to see that? This is called CSEEVchain.com. I'll repeat again because some people are going to be like, how did you see the thing? And I done mentioned it twice. It's called CVchain.com. All right, guys, that's how you can see all the action on the main net in a visualized, stylized way. Okay. As we can see here, the transaction data is here. P 
paying that gas, paying that veto. And then we've got a wonderful article in Yahoo Finance. Again, VChain adopting eNFT platforms. And again, guys, this is just the beginning. We don't even know what they're going to cook up next. I'm excited. I am uh, happy. And I'm a little bit afraid. <laughs> what if our whole lives become NFT'd? What if we become NFT'd? That'd be crazy. As we can see here. Now, what I want to see is more companies, more more countries adopt this. Okay, if more companies and more countries adopt this, that'll be mean more veto burn, more veto burn means more mainnet activity, more mainnet activity means more adoption, more adoption means higher V chain price, higher veto price. Guys, I did a full veto deep dive. We went right into the white paper to talk about veto. Okay, I gave my opinions on veto in the video. Go ahead and check that out. Looks like you guys didn't like that video too much. I understand. That's because VChain's not pumping. Hopefully, you know, when VChain's pumping again and people actually care, I know people's attention span isn't the greatest, you know, especially when we're going sideways. I understand. I've been through this rodeo plenty of times before, but I will make an updated video of that once VChain starts pumping again and then we start to get the interest up again and people start to care. Even though you should be caring now, you know, when the price is moving sideways and not up 100%. But hey, you know, normies, <laughs> way to get rich is to buy high and sell low. And uh, yeah, it's just going to happen like that all the time. We've got Bread Garlic House here. Just real quick, a wonderful uh, Patreon subscriber. Uh, go ahead and donate to his VChain tip jar if you wouldn't mind. Do you see the history being made with immutable vaccination records being written to the VChain on a national level? Welcome to the only blockchain project that understands that data is the new oil, baby. That's what we've been trying to tell you. Data is the new oil. You still think yield farming, moon ponzies, and meme tokens are a longer term bet? I know some of you guys will in the comments section, but that's okay. You know, that's the great thing about crypto. It's decentralized. You can put your money into any shit coin you want to. But we can see here, guys, we actually have a country writing data on the VeChain blockchain. A whole entire country, guys. Sure, it might not be a big country, but it's a country nonetheless. Can your blockchain, can your favorite meme doggy coin say the same? Hmm? Now, I'm not talking about Dogecoin. But your favorite mean doggy titty cum rocket coin, can it say the same? I don't think so. Go ahead and give that a like. And then, of course, we got a troll here talking about it only burns 0.6 of a veto. Come on, man. Bigger picture, guys. People are so focused on the surface level. It is uh, quite... Not really astounding to me anymore. I just know people want it quick, fast, in a hurry. It's always been that way. But you know what? We could take advantage of those people. Those people are easy to take advantage of, especially in a market like this. Because these are the same people that are going to be like, oh, you're so lucky you got in. Oh, you're so lucky. How did you get so much V-Chain? How did you get so much Cardano? I wish I could have that much Cardano. When they think like, hey, yeah, you should probably be buying when the price is down and considering taking profits when the price is up. But nope, it's the opposite. Moving on. All right, guys. And we have a little bit of news. <clears throat> the China's national carbon trading system has been delayed. Um, they were going to go online by the end of June, but um, it's not ready. So I'm going to try to keep you guys in the loop as much as possible. Um, guys, I hope VeChain is working with them in some way, shape, or form. Hopefully, you know, we can hear that Proof of Authority 2.0 is coming out, and then Bitcoin's up around 50K, and then VeChain releases, oh, we're working with the Chinese government to do their carbon credit system. VeChain goes to a dollar. We're all happy. We all rent out that, uh, that... I think it was in Romania or somewhere. That castle. Remember that castle? That's taken Ada. 
<laughs> you could literally stay there with Ada. We did a story on that a couple weeks ago. You know, we'll go ahead and rip that out. You know what I'm saying? You could be booming and all the uh, new 1% there, and we can have a good time, travel. It'd be fun. Smoke the best ga- gas out there. That's my dream. Now, a boy could dream, can he? Uh, that'll be the good old days. Let's speak it into existence, guys. I know a lot of people. A lot of people have given up. A lot of people don't want to hear it anymore. I get it. I see it in the view count. I see it in the engagement. You know, a lot of people have lost faith. A lot of people are on to the next shit coin. I understand. But for the people that have been here, the people that have been loyal, people that have not gone anywhere, the people that watch the videos every single day, I thank you. And I'm here for you. We're going to be laughing all the way to to the bank together. All right. So it has not launched. It's probably going to be postponed. We are rating for instructions from the higher authorities. Um, Hopefully they're saying they're they're delaying for proof of authority 2.0. That would be the biggest deal. Now, um, they said that the trading platform would be up and running before July, but uh, that has not happened. Uh, China's goals of reaching peak carbon emissions by 2030 and carbon neutrality by 2060. And as we can see here, um, mandatory participants, 2,025 power plants that have annual carbon dioxide emissions over 26 tons. Um, The allowance scheme, they'll have a baseline. And if you go over that, you must buy carbon credits on the open market. If you are under that, you can sell your carbon credits to, to companies that have uh, carbon overages, okay? And then the carbon credits are going to decrease over time, thus making carbon more expensive over time, thus meaning companies need to pay more for carbon credits on the open market. And if you're under, you can sell your carbon credits for more. Now, these are mandatory participants. Here's the voluntary participants. Now, This is what I was thinking about, guys. This is something different here. Remember we were talking about the carbon credit system and how VeChain could actually use the carbon credit system? Let's take a look at this. Domestic and international institutions and individuals who implement certified carbon emissions reduction projects. That's what VeChain does. We are implementing carbon emission reduction projects by tracking and tracing carbon by being able to, you know, have an entire carbon market on the on the blockchain. Now, this is just speculation. Okay, guys, this is just speculation. I'm not saying that VeChain is going to be a part of this anyway, but it could happen. What if VeChain got into the carbon market system in China? It doesn't redu- it doesn't produce that much carbon, guys. We could have a carbon allowance, sell our carbon to companies that You know, our coal power plants and all that that need it and profit. And then not only that, we could double dip and provide services and provide products to companies to reduce their carbon footprint. Now, this is just me thinking out loud. You know, this is what I would do if I was a CEO. I don't know what Sonny Lou got cooking up in his sleeve, but this is something that we could definitely look at. Okay, this is something that definitely we should be considering. This is off the wall thing here. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, So this is just a little bit more about the carbon system here. And as we can see here, China's all the way at the top of just carbon emissions. I mean, they're the number one polluter of the world here, um, which is not great. But I understand they have the most. um, They have the most people. And it's coal is the most easiest way to power things. So we can't really fault them too much. I don't think they mean to do it, even though, you know, they're an authoritarian government. But even authoritarian governments care about the environment. So uh, that's a little bit more about the carbons, about the uh, carbon uh, credit system in China, guys. I'm going to try to keep you up to date as much as possible. Um, hopefully we get some more developments and I'll pass them on to you. All right, guys, we got 1,042 days to the next Bitcoin block having and, uh, things are looking meh, you know, not, 
interest is low. I understand. We've been moving sideways. No more of my friends are calling and asking about FOMO in the Dogecoin and me telling them, nah, bro, why are you buying Dogecoin? Because I want to buy it. Please tell me. Okay, you can buy from here, here, and here, and then never hear from them again. You know, it is what it is. You know, it was fun for a while, you know, being that man's to go to for knowledge. But now that the price is down, no one cares anymore. And it's just back to us techies and us people who, you know, are true OGs. Some of you guys might have sticked around and we welcome you. Welcome to a wild ride, guys. This is it. <laughs> Crypto's not going anywhere. There's going to be more wild swings of volatility. And I can't wait for them, whether we go up or down, you know, the worst thing in this market is going sideways. OK, I'd rather be going up a lot or down a lot. But the worst thing is to go sideways. But hey, the majority of days are going to be sideways. Just remember that. <clears throat> and I want you to remember another thing, too, guys, that in a typical bull market, five or ten days of explosive movement. Or in a bear market, five or ten days of explosive downward movement. That's all you get, really. The rest of the time is sideways. So just remember that, guys. Looking at this, guys, here, uh, economy is up 40% for some reason. I don't know. Maybe there's a mainnet launch. Synthetics is on its way up, too, guys. I love synthetics. KuCoin is up. There's some coins up. There's some coins up, a like, a lot. So hopefully, you know... That could translate into Bitcoin. That could translate into V-Chain. Hopefully we can see a 20% V-Chain. Get back above 10 cents. That would definitely be nice. All right, guys. Well, I love you so much. I've got to run. we got to do the Cardano updates. And then i got to get to my wage slave. So I'll, sit, I'll talk to you guys later. Don't let your memes be dreams. Leave about full five comments down below, guys. we got to get these engagements up on the video so that it can be shown to other people. Love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.